Hi crafters, this is Cassie bringing you another video on behalf of Sub This and That Monthly Sublimation Box. We're still working from our travel themed June box titled, I Haven't Been Everywhere, but it's on my list. For today's video, we're gonna look at sublimating this 20 ounce shimmer tumbler. So on Facebook, on YouTube, and in all your online community, there are hundreds if not thousands of videos explaining various processes when it comes to doing these skinny tumblers. So I'm just going to point out a few things. I'll be quiet and I'll let the video go. The first thing you need to determine is whether or not your tumbler is straight or tapered. An easy way to tell, you can actually tell with this one by looking at it, the circumference of the top and the circumference of the bottom. So you can see right away from this one that they're not the same size. That's a good indicator that this is a tapered tumbler. You could also, of course, get a measuring tape and measure it and you'll see there's probably about a quarter of an inch, three eighth inch difference. Here I wanted to show you a straight tumbler the mouth is even just, you can see that, and then the bottom. So the bottom on the straight tumbler is the same circumference as the opening. So for this video, we are working from a tapered tumbler. Another thing I want to point out is you can buy uh, several designs already prepared for your tumbler. I do suggest, as always, that you measure. Uh, we like to think that all these tumblers are the same size, but they really aren't. So it's very important that you measure um, every time just to make sure that your design is going to fit. Inside our June box, we also received several sheets. Uh, several sheets of shrink wrap, and they're in different sizes. Both of these work on the tumbler. My preference is for the more skinnier of the two sizes, um, just because it's less room that you have to shrink wrap. You will also need a heat gun. Um, you can also use a blow dryer, and this is what you use to adhere the shrink wrap to the tumbler. Gloves, I recommend. Um, even when you're shrinking the shrink wrap, I use a glove because the heat gun gets pretty hot. But also you wanna have heat resistant gloves to get your tumbler out of your convection oven for those who are using a convection oven um, and be able to start pulling off that shrink wrap in the design. And one of the most important things for those who are using a convection oven is to have an oven thermometer. The time on your convection oven is not the actual, the time, the temperature of your convection oven is not the actual temperature inside. So if you turn your oven on 400, it's likely 450 or 475 inside your oven. So it is very important to use a oven thermometer. This will give you an accurate reading of your oven. Usually for my oven, I'm using a Hamilton Beach, an extra large Hamilton Beach. I have to put my oven about 375 and it'll register 400 inside the oven. But different, your ovens are different, the temperatures are different. Um, so use one of these and this will be your best friend if you're using a convection oven. So with that said, let's get to work. 